Today's video, we're going to talk about how you were able to spend one month in Hawaii with your family. Kids watch. Moms talk. Mom cameras. Thanks for listening and thanks for always tuning in. This today is I have a very special guest. It is a relative of mine. It's my my sister's husband's cousin. And her name is Suzanne Yang, and she was able to spend one whole month in Hawaii with her family. And she's going to walk us through how she was able to do that, how she was able to budget. And uh, perhaps this could be something that you can use as a mom, how you can budget and live a frugal life, but yet live a very liberating life with your family. Suzanne, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for having me. Tell us all the way from the beginning, how, how are you able to go to Hawaii for a month? So I was able to go first because when I had graduated college, I got into some financial trouble. It wasn't anything huge, but after graduating six months later, your loans that you take out to go to school start to kick in. And I didn't really realize that I had been charging up my credit cards and living off more than I was making. So I got into some trouble. I had to borrow some money from a family member, which just made me feel awful about myself and irresponsible. And so from that experience, I really learned more about money and how to make my money work for me. And so that experience really led to creating the habits that were needed to make this trip happen. But the trip itself started long before we actually went on the trip. So my it was actually for my daughter, Lorelai, who's two. It was for her golden birthday. Mm. And oh, I'm sorry. First of all, who? And then can you tell us who is we? Who is in your family? So it's me, my husband, and we have two kids, Quinn, who's four, and then Lorelai, who just turned two. And we did the Hawaii trip. Her birthday's on March 2nd. And so that was her golden birthday. And one of the things that I was hoping for, she was actually supposed to be, her due date was the end of February. And Mm -hmm. I was like praying that she would be born And it was even a leap year (laughs) that she would be (laughs) born in February so that her golden birthday could be when she's in her 20s and we would do something really fun. But of course, knowing her now, she (laughs) had her own plans. And so she was born on March 2nd. And after she was born, I couldn't believe her golden birthday would be one that she would not remember. But I also wanted realized that I wanted to make it still make it special for her. And so she was the center of this whole trip. The planning for it, or I guess the intention for this trip started the day she was born. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it was two years in the making. At first, we just, we would go for a typical vacation, you know, a week, maybe two weeks. But once she turned one, our family kind of went through our own life change. And we realized if we're going to go to Hawaii, we should just make it worth it and stay there for a whole month. And so the intention for the trip happened when she was born. But a year later, the length of the trip, that intention happened. And so from there... Um, after she turned one, we really started to figure out the budgeting process. Wait, is, is, a as a family, I love little cute traditions is a golden birthday. Is that something that is special to you? Golden birthdays? It's definitely something special to me. I know a lot of people might not celebrate it, especially those that are not from Minnesota mm-hmm. where I am from, like my <laughs> husband, in, who's from born and raised in San Francisco, They most people there have no idea what a golden birthday is. And so for me growing up as a kid, mine was when I turned 24, but I would all my friends would be doing their birthday golden birthdays when they were 11 or 7 or whenever 
the childhood age was. And I was like, I have to wait until I'm 24. And it just always felt so long. But I knew that when that day came that I would do something. Mm. Okay, we're gonna continue part two on the next video about how to spend one month in Hawaii. I'll tell a friend about our channel and take us with you on your smartphone. Listen to us on mobile. Like and subscribe and comment below any thoughts about any personal trips you want to take.